All right, welcome to Toasted Traders, No Turkey Talk 2014. This is Trade Thursday's uh, second to final event for this year. We'll have one more in December. And we've invited some really exciting speakers, all that I know personally and am uh, thankful that I have them on my roster that I can bring to you live here on this Black Friday morning. 2014. Uh, hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and that you're ready to sit down and learn a lot about what these traders are bringing to the table today. Um, I'm going to do a quick run through of the topics that we've got today and who the speakers are. Uh, our first speaker is Bill Costaritas and Bill Costaritas is a personal friend of mine. We used to be neighbors. He lives in my hometown and uh, he's a futures trader. He's been around for a long time. S&P is just uh, his favorite market. He's going to talk a little bit about that with you guys this morning, and this is his first time on Trade Thirsty, so y'all give him a big Trade Thirsty welcome when he comes on. Uh, our second speaker, um, and we'll switch on the hour, and this is being recorded, um, and they're going to ask that about another 500 times, but <laughs> it is being recorded. Uh, King's going to be talking about candlestick patterns. Um, y'all know that he uh, is, a, is a high power options trader out of Chicago. He used to trade on the floor. And so he's going to be talking about that today. Price Heavely, very well known in the industry. BigTrends.com is his site. And he's going to be talking about trading multiple time frames. Uh, Vince Bora, TradingWins.com is going to be talking about winning momentum strategies. John Seville out of Canada. He's our, we call him our crazy Aussie. Uh, he's going to be talking about some stock scan tools that you can get online and what he uses to pick out breakout trades. And then last but not least, I begged Hubert. He said, okay. He's going to be talking about bond setups and his favorite indicator that he uses in the market, and that's uh, my partner Hubert Sinners in Trade Thirsty. Uh, we started this site in an effort to bring you good quality content on a regular basis, and hopefully you're subscribed to our site and getting our emails and uh, coming to these events that we host monthly. Uh, so once again, I'd like to welcome you all. I'm Jeanette Stems, and I'm going to be one of the moderators today, and we will go ahead and turn the mic and the PowerPoint over to Bill and let him get us started this morning. Bill, uh, go ahead and share your screen. Let me know when you can see it. All right, I can see it. Can everybody else see Bill's screen? It says Night Scalper, a better way to trade. All right, Bill, it looks like they can see it. Mike is yours. You have one hour. One hour. Wonderful. Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, I, too, hope that you have had a wonderful Thanksgiving and uh, we're able to spend that good time with your family. I'm in Atlanta and we have all of our kids here and son-in-laws and grandchildren so it's been a great one for us and I hope it continues to be for you as well. My name is Bill Costaritas and I have uh, been trading in the Globex or what we call the overnight session now for many 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 years. I'm, I'm almost ashamed to tell you but uh, probably from inception to be honest with you. I doubt you'll meet very many who have been trading in this space since uh, it began in the early 90s. And so real quick, how many of you have uh, traded in the uh, Globex market or after hours market where they trade futures after the US markets close because that will help me determine which way we may want to take this conversation this morning. Okay, this looks like it's uh, evenly split. And uh, what markets do most of you trade when you trade? Again, this helps me uh, determine which way we, we want to take this conversation and this time we have together this morning. All right, for those of you, just real quick, who are not familiar with the Globex, and then I'll tell you about a new program that uh, we have added that I think you'll be very excited about. But I have spent most of my uh, non-Wall Street career, if you will, once I retired from Wall Street, involved with the Globex. In fact, I was involved with it when I was a portfolio manager, and I was managing several hundred millions of dollars in portfolios and I found that uh, it would be great if I could hedge the portfolios that I had and so I, I could sleep better at night 
and that's how I became involved in the Globex and then started trading it for my own account and then I started teaching it and uh, trading the Globex with others and the Globex for those of you who are not familiar with it it uh, began in 1992 it was a product of Reuters and uh, the CME they worked together on developing this product and it was originally to accommodate currency traders because you know the currencies were trading around the clock and the currency traders would stand around on the floor at night with uh, very little activity so it was not cost efficient and they came up with this electronic system in the early 90s and it is actually the grandfather of electronic trading and I was involved with that process when it first came about and was fortunate enough to be involved in helping the uh, and watching that system evolve in fact in those days you couldn't trade like you do today you had to have a Globex terminal they were uh, fairly expensive in roughly a few thousand dollars to obtain and another thousand dollars a month to uh, maintain and the commissions uh, were awful if I remember they were somewhere around twenty five dollars a round turn you could only trade the big S&P's and the bonds and a few precious metals and of course the currencies and that was it now today if you have a laptop or a computer and you are uh, you have an account with one of the options platforms you can now access this market and trade it around the clock with uh, commissions that run from anywhere from six dollars to lower with great fills I will tell you the fills in those days uh, were awful as well it was nothing to have a, a point two point slippage it was just uh, you just never knew what you were going to get and we didn't have anyone you know to teach us what to do or not to do or what to look out for there weren't uh, any manuals or instructions uh, you know telling us how to uh, understand and navigate this market but today we have uh, quite a few of us who understand this market and have traded it for quite a while and that's why we're here hopefully to uh, help you avoid a lot of the pitfalls and tuition that we we pay to learn these markets but it is a different market so as we go through it tonight I'll ask you to this morning excuse me to keep an open mind because it can be very different from trading during the day even though you trade the same instrument during the day now uh, in our program we trade only the S&P's the e-mini my philosophy is learn one market and learn it well and that is uh, uh, what we do in the night scalper but I will tell you too about uh, how we've expanded the program here of late but the Globex just to show you how there are some differences the Globex market is a great place to learn how to trade futures if you've had an interest in doing that and I'll tell you why it's a slower moving market it trends better you don't have any uh, computer buy and sell programs like you have during the day and I'm not going to sit here and tell you there are not any computers but not to the extent that you have these high frequency trading programs that many of us are familiar with that uh, are active during the daytime yes the uh, uh, the DAX that we watch at night in Germany and and some of these other markets I'm sure they have computers operating but you don't have direct computers in the market itself that we're trading in because there's just not enough volume to accommodate these uh, quant models and computer buy and sell programs that so many of us are familiar with they they require a tremendous amount of volume as you know to drive them so it is one of the few frontiers where you just don't have computers to the extent that you have during the day markets that uh, many of us have seen and I'm sure have been frustrated by then we have trade signals that we have spent years developing and they only work at night and I'll explain some of those to you later as well now this is what's obviously very important because there's less volatility and because you just have uh, a market that moves slower you can use tighter stops and less risk we generally trade with about two two and a half sometimes three point stops but that is uh, uh, very difficult to do during the day because two three point stops even when you have the market determined 
and the direction determined correctly, you can still get stopped out. It's, it's just uh, it's nothing during the day anymore. That uh, if you trade futures, you'll know this. In addition to uh, speculating in the uh, Globex, and I won't spend a whole lot of time on this because of our time today, you can also hedge in the Globex. And of course, again, as I said earlier, that's how I got involved. I was a portfolio manager looking for a place where I could hedge the portfolio, and that uh, was my original involvement. Now, hedging, uh, of course, is, is a tremendous tool, even if you're not going to trade in this space or uh, trade the S&Ps or trade any of the markets in the Globex at night, you should have at least the basic knowledge and the ability to hedge a portfolio if you're uh, investing during the day. And let's say you have a half a million dollar portfolio and markets are going your way and everything's happening the way you want it to and you're fat and happy and then all of a sudden we have one of these events as I like to say goes bump in the night and changes the entire look and profile of the market. Now I'm not sure why this seems to happen but all the major events of late that have changed you know the entire profile or direction of these markets seem to occur at night while the US is sleeping. For example uh, the tsunami in Japan, the, the crises in, in, in Greece and uh, most of Europe, uh, you know, most recently the situation in the Ukraine, uh, you know, the uh, Lehman Brothers, which is probably one of the biggest, I never will forget that event where you had Lehman Brothers, you know, obviously was having margin calls during the week, you know, just find out about these overnight. They were having huge problems and capital flow problems and you know we didn't uh, find out about that uh, we being the, the, the investors in the world didn't find out about it till Sunday night but of course you know most of the street I'm sure knew about it well in advance but I never will forget that night and how the markets reacted to it and of course Bear Stearns and we know the rest but this is a tremendous uh, tool in which to hedge a portfolio in fact it's the only way to hedge a portfolio. So if you find yourself uh, in a situation where now the entire profile of the market has changed, you can now take advantage of the Globex, go in and hedge it with a uh, an S&P or two, depending on the size of your portfolio. And uh, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on the, the mechanics of how to do that because our time is limited today. But if uh, you ever want to get into the, the specifics of, of hedging one, just uh, send us an email at uh, Night Scalper and we'll be happy to help you. Now, I know many of you have uh, asked this question. In fact, any of us who have ever traded, we ask ourselves this question. And uh, the folks that uh, act as moderators in, in this universe that we uh, operate in, we often talk about this. What is the difference between an average trader and a successful one? And of course, we all know you have to have an effective plan and a discipline. And we're going to talk a little bit about that as well this, uh, this good morning. So after 24 years of uh, futures trading and working in this Globex at night, and uh, as I said earlier, I, I doubt you will meet very few people who have been involved with this market as long as I have. All right, we have at night that uh, makes this market somewhat different. As I said earlier, we have key market times. We have proprietary signals and indicators that I have spent uh, a good bit of my career developing that I find work successfully. We have Greekisms. And I know most of you are scratching your head wondering what that means. Well, Greekisms are uh, a nickname for other events and signals that occur in this market on a regular basis that I have been able to identify over the years. And so uh, the folks in our room, and I will tell you this while I'm on this subject, I've been involved with a lot of chat rooms uh, in my years, and I will say we have one of the most social and friendly chat rooms I've ever been involved in. We're quite proud of that. And uh, one of the things they like to do is give each other nicknames. And this uh, nickname, Greekism, was given to, as I said, uh, various events and signals that occur in this market on a regular basis. 
and I'll talk a little bit about those and give you an example of what a Greekism or a signal that we use in that market is. And then, of course, money management. And this is where I find uh, many fall short of uh, their discipline in trying to trade or even manage money. If you do not have an efficient money management system, you're just not going to be successful on a regular basis. And that's what we're all here for, to, to find success, but to find it uh, on a consistent basis. So let me take a few minutes and talk about these uh, and tell you how we approach it in the Night Scalper program and in the Globex. Now, what's very different, and I mentioned that in the very few uh, first part of this presentation, is what's very different about trading at uh, night in the Globex versus trading during the day is the U.S. is not in control. For example, you're not interested in what the DAX is doing during that period of time or the Hong Kong market or the, uh, uh, the Japanese market, the Nikkei as we know it, or the FTSE in England. You really don't care because you're focused on trading the U.S. market during the day session in the U.S. Well, at night, the U.S. is not in control. It is not the dog that wags the tail, if you will. It is going to be affected uh, by other markets and events that take place, and we're going to talk about that for a few minutes. Now, the Asian control, and this is what uh, I have been to be effective, and of course you have to remember that what we are looking for in the Globex and in this space at night is that that moves or affects the S&Ps because if we can figure out what markets or what news events are controlling the S&Ps then we can find a tremendous amount of success in what we do. Now the Asian control that is the market that trades from 5 p.m. till 12 a.m. and the two markets that we follow are Hong Kong and the Nikkei. Now the Nikkei opens at 6, Hong Kong opens at 7.15 and they can dramatically affect the direction of the S&Ps. So we consider the Asian market to be in control from 5 p.m. till 12 a.m. Then after midnight we have uh, what we call a bit of a handover from 12 a.m. to 1 in the morning. I know many of you have heard that term. Then we enter into uh, the European session and that is uh, markets that uh, basically affect the S&Ps from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. The two markets that we follow there are the DAX in Germany and the FTSE in the UK. Now the FTSE and the UK markets of course are considered the financial center of the world that has been debated whether it's London or New York and of course DAX is the largest economy in Europe so you can understand why those markets would play a key role now, I know many of you are thinking, well, why not uh, Australia or Canada or, uh, you know, um, South Korea, the Singapore market. And, you know, all those are great economies and great markets, but they just don't affect, you know, the S&Ps. And, again, we're looking for those uh, events. We're looking for those regular occurrences that move the S&P in one direction or another. Now let me give you another example. Now most of you, uh, most of us, we, we read and hear about China all the time. You know, it looks and walks and talks like a capitalistic system, but you know, it's still a closed and communist system and sometimes we forget that. Of course, now it's the second largest economy just overtaking Japan about a year ago in the world. And what happens in China can dramatically affect the global marketplace that we now all live in. And if uh, you're not following the global marketplace, the global economy, then you're at a huge disadvantage, and that's what we preach here at Night Scalper. Now, let me just give you one quick example of that. A few years ago, you didn't care about the GDP or the PMI in China. You just didn't care. You didn't think about it. But today, guys and gals, you better know about it. You better at least have some information because how many times have you turned on CNBC or Bloomberg in the morning to find out that the S&Ps are moving in a certain direction because of uh, China's slowdown or most recently China lowered interest rates and we had a huge 
uh, move on that uh, information. Again, in Japan, you know, Japan is uh, stepping on the, the accelerator, if you will. They're, they're, they seem to be uh, the biggest QE -er in town, as we like to say, and they are absolutely pushing on every button they can push. And these are affecting the markets. And again, it's usually at night or in the early morning while the U.S. is sleeping. And that's what we're trying to take advantage of. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Key overnight trading uh, window is from 5 p.m. till 3 a.m. And that's basically when we start our day. We generally start at 5 p.m. in the uh, evening, and for most of you who are not familiar with this space, if you trade futures, you know, the futures clock, it starts its day at 5 o'clock, and then we're into the new trading day. Now, all, all of the times that I will refer to today are central times, and we usually go to about 3 a.m. in the morning, depending on whether we're in a position or not. But the technical Globex trading hours are from 3.30 till 8.30. Now, if I say anything of importance today, I hope I say a lot, actually, but this is the important one. If you ignore the night session or the Globex session or the after-hour session that's called by many names, you're missing out, <coughs> excuse me again, on 17 hours of very valuable information that can help you become a better investor and a better trader. Now, I know most of you are thinking, I, I really don't have time to become an international economist. I don't have the time to stay up all night. I have a family. I have a job. We understand this and we know this, and uh, it's just, it is one of the disadvantages that we have to deal with on a regular basis. But you don't have to stay up all night, and we have a lot of different tools and programs so that it uh, does not inconvenience you if you choose to spend some of your time trading in this particular market. Now, as you've heard me talk about, I'm a big believer in the 24-hour markets. And here of late, what we have uh, evolved to that we're very proud of and we've been able to keep our membership fees at the same levels is we now have, as far as we know, the uh, only live 24-hour chat room anywhere that uh, we are familiar with. And let me explain to you how it works. It used to be for many, many years that, uh, you know, I moderated, I called live trades in a chat room from, you know, as I just said, 5 in the evening till 3, 4 in the morning. It just depended on, you know, the markets and what was going on. But we now have a 24-hour live chat room. We have traders and moderators in the room almost 24 hours. Now, yes, there may be an hour, an hour and a half that, you know, we don't cover trading. But we have from 5 a.m. till 7 a.m., we have uh, Dr. Frank Stanley who calls, and many of you may have heard of Dr. Stanley. He is... Uh, very well known for his options programs and he teaches a program that uh, we also uh, teach in our chat room about the uh, emotions and psychology of trading. He has a PhD in psychology so that makes him very qualified to teach such a course having been a 20 year plus trader in futures and a PhD in psychology you don't find that combination very often. And he trades the Russells and the NASDAQ futures. He calls and gives option trade setups. In fact, he had a, a great setup here this past Thursday that uh, that one trade made everyone's week. Then from 8 to 10, we have Mr. Roy Bigler who comes in and he calls the uh, E-mini. It's a real quick scalping trade. He goes from 8 to 10. Then we have what we call the Dirty Harry Show. Harry comes in at 10 a.m. and trades till 11.30. And then if he's feeling chipper, he may even go beyond that. We also have uh, in the month of December, 
we're going to have Roy Rotola. I don't know if you've ever met Roy. He's been around a while as well. In fact, all of these folks have been around uh, for a very long time. They're very well respected. He calls trades on various futures markets, currencies, and uh, the S&Ps for the most part, but it could be just about any futures, financial futures market. And he uses what they call Murray lines. I don't know if any of you are familiar with those or have ever used them, but uh, they're they're a very efficient way to trade. Then we have uh, another options trader that's going to join us here shortly, and uh, at least call trades during the month of December. So we have traders coming in and out. Then again, I pick up around five o'clock and I start calling trades throughout the evening. So you have the benefit of not only what time you want to trade, when it fits your time, your lifestyle, you have the flexibility to trade when it's convenient for you, but you have access to all of these different traders. There are different styles. There are different ways of educating you to approach the markets and trade, what to look for, what to look for. And you have access to the various and different kinds of markets that you want to trade. And so uh, we've covered, you know, not only the, the 24 hour clock where you're able now to trade when it's convenient, but we've, we're covering several different markets all in one convenient chat room. We consistently offer education. Most of the times it's the uh, Tuesday night where, for example, a couple of Tuesdays ago, Dr. Stanley did his course on emotions and the psychology of trading. And so we believe in education and we're consistently and constantly trying to provide education and we do all this for one flat fee. We don't charge you for this and try to surcharge you for that. You pay one fee in our room per month. That's it. And you don't uh, pay anything else and you get all the information and training we can possibly provide. Now, also, I talked a bit about this earlier and I promised to cover it, the proprietary signals that I spent, you know, the better part of my lifetime developing. Uh, that are tailored to this particular market and we don't have time today to go through many of these because you know there's quite a few of them but of course we have pivot times just like you do during the day as I said before you kinda have to have an understanding of when the DAX opens for example it opens at 1 a.m. central time it's important that you know when that market's going to open because the S&P's tend to move one direction or another depending on which way Europe opens as well as the Hang Seng and the Nikkei and the FTSE. Now the FTSE and the DAX open at the same time, unlike the Hang Seng and the Nikkei that open, you know, an hour and 15 minutes with a differential there. Now, depth of market or trading the dome. I know most of you are familiar with the dome. Most of you have one on your platform for your order entry. Well, at night, it is one of the most useful tools you can use. It's a volume-based indicator in which to trade and it is one of our pr proprietary and primary trading tools that we use in this space and of course the other markets that uh, we watch even though we're not trading them because they can help give us direction as I said earlier we're just looking for that direction that helps us determine what these S&P's might do if we can get that direction then we can uh, find a way to make money so we do look at the bonds and the yen and the euro, especially here of late in this uh, what I call financially engineered world we live in, where we seem to have all of these major uh, economies, and you call it what you want to, but it's a currency war. I, I just don't know any other name for it in my 35 years, 37, 8 years, however many I've been around. This looks and walks and talks like a currency war to me. and. So you have to kind of understand what's going on with the yen and the euro because they can give you a tremendous amount of information in helping you figure out which way to trade or not trade depending on what they're doing. Now the Greekisms, again I said these are probably somewhat uh, foreign to you if you will, play on words and it is a product of 24 years of trading and watching these markets. And essentially, if I found something that worked, you know, 80% of the time, and I think most of us know that if you can find, you know, some kind of technique or trading system or whatever, if you can find something that works 80% of the time, you can do well and you can uh, make money. 
Now there's some 15 of them. We don't have a whole lot of time, as I said today, to go through all 15 of them. But you get uh, access to all of those in our trade room, and we'll talk about that a few minutes later. But I'll give you an example. Uh, we just saw it this past Monday. We see it most Mondays. It's not every Monday, but it's 80% of the time. The Monday following options expiration is usually an up day. Why is that important? Because you can start trading in the Globex at 5 o'clock in the evening. You don't have to wait till the market's open on Monday. And in fact, if uh, you know your way around this particular market, you were able to trade last night from 5 to 10.30. Uh, or I think they're going to close early today at noon. But Wednesday night, you could trade, even though the markets in the U.S. were closed Thursday, you had access to trade the markets from uh, 5 o'clock in the evening Wednesday till 10.30 Thanksgiving Day, even though the U.S. markets were closed, and you had access to it last night as well, even though it was a holiday. But the Monday following options expiration is usually an up day. I would say 80% of the time. I haven't you know, uh, calculated it to the exact percentage, but I know it's a large percentage of the time this past Bill, it sounds like we lost you. Um, I'm not getting any sound. A couple of people aren't getting sound. Okay, I feel like I can. Can you say test? Can y'all hear me? Because I um. I'm, I'm trying to get Bill back. Can y'all hear me talking? Okay, so we realize there's no sound. Give us just a second. I'm not going to let go until I know that we can hear Bill. Bill, when you're clicking it, I hear like I, it sounds like I can hear you breathing, but you're just not talking. So your 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 map your uh, mic should be green. And once it's green, give me a test. All right, everybody, give me just a second. Let me see if I hey can get Bill fixed. Well, while Jeanette is getting Bill set up, um, everybody look at your uh, trading screens. I won't knock off Bill's uh, slides because it'll take too long to get back up and everything. Let's take a real quick look at what's going on in the markets right now. You should be able to hear me. You won't be able to see my charts because I just don't want to mess up his slides when Jeanette does get him back on. So let's take a look at what's going on. It's 936, and on the Dow, we've had a slight gap up. We have not taken out the high of the day yet, and we have not taken out the low, so that's a good thing. Now, remember, this is the Thanksgiving holiday, so it's probably going to be a little bit thin. It's going to be a little bit erratic. If you do get into a good trade, which is possible, it tends to um, go in the up direction, but it, it tends to be a little bit pop in, in nature. So, in other words, it'll run for a little bit, and then it'll stop, and it'll pause, and then it'll try to figure out where it's going from time to time. So I'm just going to roll through some markets, and like I said, um, you do not, you should not be able to see my charts. You should just be looking at your charts. You should be seeing Bill's slide as Jeanette is trying to get Bill's microphone to work again. So uh, does everybody understand what I'm doing here? I'm just filling in time because, you know, some t from time to time um, we get technical glitches that happen like this. So it's all good. So let's take a look and see what's going on. So we're up 23 points on the Dow. The Dow looks good. It's probably going to go higher. I'm going to look at a daily chart here to see if I can get a, an overall target for us here today. Uh, on the Dow, we're not going to get to 18,000 today, but we could take out the most I recent highs. There you go. You're good. You're good, Bill. Okay. I can hear. I can hear Bill. Testing one, two, three. You sound good, Bill. Okay, sorry. Okay, we're good to go. 
Sorry about that, folks. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Um, we were talking about the uh, options uh, expiration Monday. As I said, if you know that that's likely to be an, an up day or a high probability of being an up day and you've been trading to the short side, you know at some point you need to probably either get out or, uh, or at least reverse or start looking for a move to the upside. Now, the one I'm going to talk about next, Greekism number 11, as we have it called in our program, one of my favorite setups, and we use this uh, quite a bit. In fact, I think it was, uh, and I think Jeanette, you helped me with this. It was uh, Wednesday night. We sent out a tweet. I thought I was going to, uh, you know, have a quiet night and was headed to Atlanta to enjoy family for our Thanksgiving holiday. And we had this huge squeeze into the short because we had a you know typical light volume, and that's what these guys tend to do. And we went from 69 in the last 20 minutes on the S&Ps up to 74. Ultimately, we, we, we traded 75 on the S&Ps, which I just couldn't believe. I was watching it on my computer as I was uh, going up the interstate. And I'm, I'm continually amazed at you know the, the availability of technology and the that I can just, you know, after all the years I've been involved with the markets, that I can go up and down the interstate at whatever miles per hour I was going. Of course, I wasn't driving. My wife was driving. And being able to monitor and put in trades on the market, it still amazes me today, even though I've been doing it for years. But the overnight short squeeze, and this is uh, one we sent out a tweet. We sent out tweets when we have a pretty good setup. And after I just told the room I thought it was going to be a quiet night, well, it turned out to be anything but that. And uh, they rallied him, as I said, uh, the S&Ps into the close up to 75. We uh, sent out a tweet. We went in the chat room, told them to sell 74 better. Most were filled between 74 and a quarter and 74 and a half because it was a fast market. Then the markets, as many of you know, closed at 315, reopened at uh, 330. And you need to know these hours, by the way, on the Globex. That's another... Uh, what we teach you is to understand these hours of operation because it does affect the markets and how they move. And when the S&Ps opened at 5 o'clock, beginning the new day of trading for Thursday, even though the U.S. was closed, on Thursday, we were able to pick up uh, two points pretty quick and ultimately another two points because we traded more than just uh, one contract. So this overnight short squeeze is one of our favorite trade setups. We usually see one two or three times a month, and that is another example of a Greekism. And like I said, these are pretty much uh, signals and events that occur on a regular basis that we try to take advantage of, and they've given them this name, uh, the Greekism, because they feel like, uh, I'm not sure why they like to give them nicknames, but that's something we started many years ago, and it just continues today. All right, now money management. I think we've all heard this term. I think we uh, all talk about it. We all think about it, but this is what I know about it. If you do not have a proper and consistent and disciplined money management system, you're just not going to be consistent with your trading and uh, uh, just find the success that you're looking for. Now, in uh, our program, again, the uh, Night Scalper program, which uh, we're evolving to a 24-hour room. In fact, uh, soon we'll be trading, uh, changing the name to Traders Den 24. We're in the process of, of making that change over. But what are some of the biggest mistakes that uh, we find folks are making with their trading, especially when it comes to money management? And if you do not, as I just said, have a proper money management system, you're just not going to be consistent. The biggest mistakes I see, and I think some of these you'll recognize, are overtrading. I think that one's an obvious one. Trying to hit home runs. We all know about that one. This one probably uh, you don't think about so much, but we have found that it is a, uh, a, a good benefit. You sit in front of a screen, you, you, you develop a discipline, you know, your emotions are on a roller coaster often when you're trading. You're trying to, uh, you know, make sense of these crazy markets, the craziest markets I've ever seen. They are, you know, some of the most difficult markets with all this financial engineering going on to trade. 
but uh, you're trying to make uh, heads or tails of them, as we like to say. And uh, you know, you, you should reward yourself for your efforts, and you do that by. We recommend you do that by you know taking regular withdrawals from your account. You know, reward yourself for your efforts. You know, uh, monthly or weekly. So we encourage people to, you know, take money out of their account and reward themselves for their efforts and their time. Now, this one, uh, we find a lot of our folks, this is where they fall short. They're either trading too many contracts or not enough. So let me tell you just briefly, real quick, how we approach this is that many of the people who trade, you know, in our program are there for added income or additional income. And we try in the night market now. This is not necessarily the same during the uh, day sessions that we have added. We're trying to, you know, make one or two points a night or a day. And uh, this says I may be experiencing network connection difficulties. Can you still hear me? Okay. As I said, I'm not on my usual equipment. I'm in Atlanta, so I, I don't have my usual setup. So I'm not sure what's working, what's not today. I apologize for that again. All right, we recommend you. Uh, we try to make one or two or three points at night. We recommend you trade multiple contracts. You trade in pairs. We call it a unit. A unit, you know, uh, to give you an example, it could be two contracts. You may trade one contract during the day. But at night, because it's a slower market, we feel like you can trade two contracts, or you know, a unit can be four contracts or six. You get the idea. And by using multiple contracts, you can stagger your entries, you can stagger your stops. And generally, uh, I'll give you an example. Again, Wednesday night when we sold that 74 and a half into the close, 74 and a quarter area, a unit uh, to give you an example would have been uh, two contracts. So you would have gone short at 74 and a quarter into the close Wednesday at 74 and a quarter. Then when they hit 72 and a half, we took half a unit off. So now you're sitting there with a two-point profit. You now can bring your stop down. So no matter what happens on the remaining half of the unit or one contract of your two, you still make money on the night, and that's a pretty good position to be in. So what we do when you enter our program, one of the first things we ask you to do is set a goal. This is where I find many fall short. And let's just use this example of $2,000 a month is what you'd like to supplement your income, assuming you're going to have 20 trading days. Of course, you know, this time of year, we don't get 20 trading days with all the holidays, but you usually have 20 trading days. And let's say you can average $100 a day. And we say average because we know some days you're going to lose money. We all know that. But let's assume you average $100 today. Well, if you're trading two S&P contracts, that's only one point. And uh, again, going back to the example from Wednesday night, we picked up uh, two points in the first half hour of the session. So it's not difficult to do. We do it on a regular basis. So if you can average $100 a day and your goal is $2,000 a month, then that only sets a discipline for yourself, but it also tells you how many contracts you have to trade, how many points you're trying to make. Give me one second, please. All right, excuse me. If you can average that $2,000 a month and meet your goal and supplement your income, you're going to be a happy camper. And it's very easily, very easy to do that in our system, and we do it on a regular basis. So like I said, you set a goal, of, uh, again, in this example of $2,000 a month. Well, that tells you you can trade two contracts. You don't need to trade six or seven or eight. And this is where we see a lot of folks make the mistake of, you know, one day they're trading one contract and then they jump to four or they get behind and now they're trading six, trying to make up for lost ground. 
you have to trade the same number of units at all times until you're ready to increase the size or decrease the size of your unit, depending on how you feel and where you're comfortable. But once you establish a unit, you stay with that unit. You don't jump around trading one contract one day and then three the next and then back to two. It's just going to be very diff difficult to find that consistency that we're all look looking for in our trading. So we, we, and I know most of you know this, you know, treat this as a job, learn the process, minimize your risks, don't overtrade. This is the hardest uh, discipline, in fact, for me especially, I'll, I'll admit to it, to develop, is when you hit your goal, once you set that goal, this is what's important, quit. You know, I mean, it is so hard for so many of us to do. I can't tell you how many times. I've reached my goal in the uh, Globex at night because that is my favorite place to trade, only to give it back and some of it back, sometimes all of it back in this crazy market that we, uh, we're trying to navigate during the day. Again, take that weekly or monthly profit from your account, like Pavlov's dog, reward yourself because I have found when you reward yourself for your efforts, you're more apt to do the same successful strategy over and over and over again. And that's what it's about. It's like golf or tennis or anything else. If you can get that, that swing down, uh, you know, each and every time and get that consistent swing, then you're going to find more success. And it's the same with trading and many endeavors like it. Now, real quick, these are some of the tools that we use and we provide you in our chat room. They're all part of the monthly fee. There's certain markets that you need to be aware of. Over in the black box on the left, you see quotes uh, on the Hang Seng and the Nikkei, for example. You have to have real-time quotes from Singapore exchange markets to be able to follow these markets successfully. We provide those in the room as well. Uh, most platforms uh, will charge you anywhere from $20 to $30, $40 a month to have those additional quotes and we provide those to you as part of the service. And then we have our chart over there to the right. I mentioned earlier a dome. I'm about to run out of time and I'm sure some of you might have some questions, at least I hope you did. The dome matic we talked about that and we'll uh, uh, show you how that works as well if you were to join our program. Alright, so the night scalper trading method there are key market times. We have our proprietary signals and indicators. There are the Greekisms, which are events that occur on a regular basis that you can take advantage of and help increase your probabilities of a successful trade. And the money management system, which, as I just said, is a must in this uh, business. So it's fairly simple. And let me promise you this. I know in you're thinking, I don't have time to become an international economist. This sounds complicated. Guys and gals, trust me when I say this. If you want to learn to trade futures, this is absolutely the best place to learn it because it's a slower market, number one. And number two, all of this uh, information that I talked about, we make it easy for you to understand and use. You have us there in the chat room to help guide and navigate you at all times. I don't know too many people that can make that claim. So we can help you understand this market independent of your experience level. And I can't overemphasize this. Even if you don't want to trade this market, every trader should understand this market. Every investor should understand this market. Because if you don't, you're leaving some 17 hours of very valuable information out of the global marketplace. And we all know we're in a global market. And I can also tell you that it will make you a better trader during the day because the Globex gives you a tremendous amount of clues for trading during the day. In fact, a lot of the resistance and support numbers I use during the day personally, I get from watching this market at night. So again, the Night Scalpers, Traders Den 24, here's what we're going to give you today to see if it uh, works the way we say. you got 30 days. You'll get the uh, access to the Trader's Den 24-hour room. 
you get the 101 course, you get the first Tuesday we have training classes and now we've added you know um, education on the other Tuesdays during the course of the month. You get the market times, indicators, and traders from professional traders around the world. You get low risk, high reward trade setups. You get the useful tools, trades, signals, and indicators. And we hold nothing back. We don't try to, you know, say, okay, now you've been in the room for 15 days. You may want to buy this product or buy that product. It's one flat fee. You pay the same amount every month, and we give you everything we know, everything we understand, everything we teach, everything we've ever created. Again, these are some of the times that the other traders are available. I'm running out of time, so I don't want to spend too much time again on this. And then you also, as a bonus, you're going to get the Options 101 to our course with professional trader Dr. Frank Stanley that I mentioned earlier. So you get the Traders Den online 24-hour live chat room. We have our new extended hours. We're constantly changing and trying to improve it. And it's $47 for 30 days to see if it works the way I said it does, the way we say it does, and the way our traders uh, like to say that it does. I mean, we can give you all sorts of uh, testimonials and referrals, but, you know, $47, guys and gals, this is what I know about this business. $47, if you learn just one bit of information that makes you a better trader or a better investor, it's well worth $47. And I've never had anyone that joins this room not learn something that makes it worth their $47. Now, after 30 days, you like uh, what we do, and it works the way I said it does, and the way I think it does, then it's $147 a month, period, end the story. We don't come back and try to, you know, sell you something else. It's $147 as long as you're a member, and it gets you all the information and access to traders and trading that we talked about. Now, again, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to take a quick few questions and then uh, wrap it up and hand it over to the next one. So give me just a minute to uh, go back here a little bit. I can't go back all the way, but uh, 20 trades a day. I'm not sure I said anything about 20 trades a day. Um, Keith, uh, I'm not sure how many trades a day there are. Um, we do not benefit in commissions. We hope that the commissions are a very small part of uh, trying to do what we do in that room and are not an issue, especially at $5 or average round turn. Uh, what do you charge, uh, Linda? That's uh, $47 is for a 30-day trial, and then it's $147 a month after that period in the story. Because, Rob, the managed accounts are completely uh, different in the way we trade. Um, in fact, I've had losing trades in the night scalper program at night, trades that we put on, and then have made money in the managed accounts. I'm a, I'm a lot more aggressive in the managed accounts. For example, we take positions and hold them over, and we don't do that in the night scalper room. And I hope that answers your question. And if it doesn't, uh, be happy to talk to you on the phone about it. Um, we do have Ninja. We are a Ninja affiliate. And uh, it doesn't really matter what platform, by the way, you trade on. It's all about... Uh, uh, you know, we provide you with information and, you know, just about any platform that you're happy with where you're getting, getting good trade fills and good executions you should use. Uh, the Managed Money Program is a ten to $20,000 program, Rick, and we charge $150 a month. And generally, uh, I put the trades in for folks who uh, just do not uh, want to stay up or not at night or just don't want to enter trades on their own. They want someone else to do it for them.
All right, let me see. Jeanette, how much more time do I have? Just a couple minutes. You could probably take a couple more questions. All right, thanks. Um, when we do webinars uh, and we have uh, our education sessions on Tuesdays, we do record those. We have an archive where you can go in and listen to those recordings. And when you join our uh, room, you can go in and pick up those documents or uh, go in the documents folder and pick up those recordings as well, past recordings. It's, it's compatible with any trading system, Barry, that has a dome. Okay, uh, Paul. Okay, I think. Okay, good. I think you said I answered your question. Infinity, that works fine. Uh, as I said, any platform that you have a dome on, we provide you, you know, pretty much all the tools you need once you have a platform with a dome in our chat room. And there are no extra fees for any of the, uh, the quotes or anything that we provide. In the Globex, I've noticed a high correlation of pivots and supply and demand. Do you use that? Yes, we do, um, Scott, to a large degree, actually. The indicators do work on thinkorswim platforms. As I said, it'll work on just about every platform I'm familiar with. Um, I've taken your trial in the past. Can I take it again? Uh, email us at the uh, support group and let me think about that one. Uh, will the trade room help people who have never traded Globex or futures? Absolutely. As I said earlier, John, if you want to learn to trade futures, the Globex is the best place to do it because, you know, two important reasons. It's a slower market. You don't have these uh, computers that just, you know, uh, really skew these markets like they do during the day. All right, Bill, we are at the top of the hour. We would like to thank you for joining us this morning. Everybody thank Bill. He's, uh, you know, doing this from a laptop out of town at one of his children's houses. And so, you know, technically, challenge with just that one little laptop. Uh, I thought he pulled it off pretty well today, so y'all give him a good round of applause. His link is nightscalper.com slash buy, and if you have questions for his team, you can email them at support at nightscalper.com. Um, Bill, thank you very much. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, Hubert. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their holiday and have a safe one.